Are you curious? This is Angie Stewart from Mia Inner Light and Kardec Radio. Today we are going to talk about déjà vu or déjà vu, like the French says. So, what is it? If you want to know more, please subscribe to our channel, share, and if you like the video, please do it. You will be helping us a lot. So, what is déjà vu? Déjà vu is a sensation that a lot of people feel when they go to a certain place or when they meet certain people or they even eat certain food and they say this is so funny i feel that i have been here before or i feel that i ate this before or i feel that i know you from other times but they have actually never met that person never ate that food or had never been in that place before isn't that curious so let's go let's just go about what science says you know it's difficult for science to actually talk about déjà vu because science needs to have everything organized, everything researched and to be able to prove. And usually when the people have these sensations, they are actually living life. They are there at that moment when this sensation flourishes in a very, very strong way. But of course, later on, it's going to be more difficult for a person to describe in so many details of what happened. So they end up forgetting about it. And it's science for science. This is very difficult to prove. But because it has been so common throughout those years, science is also researching about it. And what are science explaining? Well, Science usually, there are many, many different theories, but these are like the most common ones. Science says that this is some kind of experience that we store in our brain. And you know, we have many different compartments for our memory. So science says that whenever we experience going to a place that's similar to another, or eating some food that's tasted something similar to some other one or even meeting a person that reminds you of somebody else this could be deja vu but the most important thing that science is actually saying it is a memory is stored in one of the compartments of our brain it is good why because in Spiritism, we have a similar explanation. This book here, this book is called The Spiritist Review. This book was written by Allan Kardec. This one is from 1858, but there are many other books fake like this with experiences that Kardec actually wrote down from many different mediumistic meetings. So you must be thinking, whoa, so I need to be a medium to be able to experience déjà vu? No, 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 no. Déjà vu is a sensation that we all have. You probably already experienced or you just don't really remember or you didn't connect at the time and now you were thinking about it. Déjà vu is something that we all felt or you will feel, but very few people actually talk about it. So stop for a moment and try to think. ever been in a place and you felt like whew, I have been here before remember it does not need to be in your city it does not to be 
nearby, it can be even a different country because this is actually what is deja vu for spiritism. Let's start. First of all, we believe in reincarnation. So we understand this physical body will live one time, but my spirit is eternal. And I had dozens and hundreds of reincarnations. In the past, people lived much shorter lives. Kids died a very, very young age, and adults also lived and died very young. So you can imagine the possibility of living many, many times. Throughout those times, we kept certain things in our memory. You can even say that you kept these sensations in your subconscious. And then at a certain moment, they trigger. Something makes it to trigger and you experience that. And this experience is very strong. It's not something like, oh yeah, this is a similar to something like science like to say. No, déjà vu in spiritism is something that you feel like you are living again. It does not necessarily need to be the exactly same thing. For example, I am in Miami right now. It does not need to be like I am in this same house, but I am in the same city. Let me give you a personal experience. That's a very, very Good one! <laughs> I was always in love with Italy, always in love with the language, with the food, and I end up having Italian boyfriends. Yes, one time I went to meet my fiancé, who lived in the south part of Italy, in Calabria. But we were on vacation and we ended up going to Rome, my favorite city ever. Then he is not very familiar with the city. We had to park the car far away and we were walking around in that time with maps because GPS did not exist. And I had this sensation that I knew the place. Rome is very old and most of the streets, they remain in the same way, certain. Especially in the old town. And then I told him, I know how to arrive at the Coliseum. And he said, mm, we are kind of far. And I said, I know how to go, let's go. And I start taking him through some weird ways, very narrow pathways with those clothes hanging. I love them. And suddenly I arrived to a point, we already knew we were very close because we saw uh, like signs showing Coliseum is straight ahead, but I wanted to make like a right. And he was like, no, it's not here. And I said, please, I think it's here. When you are dating, everything is good. He went with me in a very narrow pathway. When we arrived very close to the end, there was a wall. And then he said, that's a wall. And I said, yeah, so strange. I went all the way to the end to touch the wall. When I looked to the left, I saw a little tunnel, little tunnel for one person only. I crossed the tunnel, he followed me. When we arrived at the end of the tunnel, the tunnel was actually underneath a very, very old building. We arrived in an open area and I saw the Coliseum right at the end. This was amazing. He couldn't understand how I discovered that secret passageway and I was mesmerized. So this to me is a total proof of deja vu and it's also a proof that I lived in Rome. Love it. 
Very good. Stay with us, subscribe, and next week I will give you another subject. Mwah! Bye!